Huang with CHC Secrets. So I've decided to go ahead and create this whole new YouTube channel all dedicated towards occupational therapists and occupational therapist assistants who um, really want to dive into the hand therapy world. So anything related to the arm hand injuries. Um, and then of course also if you're interested in specializing in becoming a certified hand therapist. Um, there's a lot of courses and stuff like that and you can find like little bits here and there everywhere but I'm really gonna make this channel all about how I can help you and provide some some information about what I've learned um, what I'm teaching the people that come in contact with me like our volunteers our students and even the staff and different people that have reached out to me over the years and this is a platform that I'm wanting to create to help you more and just help even more people than just the few that actually I'm able to get into contact with. This is just a way that I can provide a lot more information, a lot more content for you. So um, if you are a therapist and you are interested in learning more about um, the hand therapy world, how to get a job, how to you know just improve your skills, your communications, and really become an influence, influencer, um, in your neck of the woods, then this channel's for you. So make sure that if you want to get more information um, from our, um, from what we're doing here, then just go ahead and click the subscribe button. And also in the notes, I'm gonna include the link where you could sign in for just um, new emails from me, all right? So one of the first things um, that a lot of people, a lot of students, whether they be students or they're new grads, they like to ask me, one of the top questions they ask me is, how do I get a job in hand therapy? So I'm gonna answer that for you. So I've got um, three top things that I usually recommend. So the first one is if you are already a therapist, right, then get a job in um, working with adults. Now it's very, very hard, it's very competitive. I know, I understand it, I hear it all the time. Um, it's hard to get that that hand therapy job, right? Where you, it's like everyone thinks of outpatient and thinks of working next to a hand surgeon as being like the job to have. And I, I you know, I get it. Um, I know that there's, you know, an interest, a sexiness, I don't know what it is, but, um, but I, knew, I do know that a lot of people do want that kind of job and it's very very hard so if you're just starting out one of my top tips for you is majority of the people have two arms and two hands if they're lucky right this is what I always say so if you want to start out in getting more experience and more skills in hand therapy just take um, you know a job that you would be interested in but with adults um, I think when you work with peds, it sort of takes you away from that a little bit, uh, from the typical you know hand therapy and trying to specialize in it, unless you're in a pediatric orthopedic type of environment. Pediatrics, where it's developmental, um, sensory integration, it's gonna take your attention away from my second tip. So first tip is to get um, different types of jobs where you can work with adults, skilled nursing, um, hospital work. And then the second tip is um, really, just because you got finished with school doesn't mean you're done learning. That's the biggest thing. Think about what CEU class you want to take to further your skills um, in the area of hand therapy. So even if you don't have a job um, in a hand therapy clinic. There's so many different courses that you could take to start to build your knowledge. Um, whether it be a general upper extremity course, a manual course, um, you know, very specific to a shoulder, or elbow, or wrist, um, or a splinting course. Um, this is a shameless plug, but I am teaching one. Uh, so if you're interested, 
um, in that link that I'm gonna put at the bottom of the notes, um, you're gonna be able to, once you subscribe to the email list, then I'll be sending you some information, only if you want, only if you want. Um, but yeah, different CU courses are, are really, really key to, to building your skills towards that. And you wanna take, um, something that's gonna be relevant to what you're doing right now. So if you're in a skilled nursing facility, I mean, how many people you know in there that have shoulder issues or elbow issues or hand issues or arthritis issues? I mean, you could take a course all towards that. It doesn't have to be like post-surgical flexor tendon, you know, like if you're not seeing them. So, but try if you can to devote one CU class a year, like a good one. Um, that's just gonna build your knowledge and skills. So that's tip number two. And my third tip is um, to try to network in your community. Try to network in your community, get to know some of the hand therapists, certified hand therapists. I know it's really hard. Um, I can only tell you my stories um, of me trying to do the same thing. And it's it's not easy, you know, a lot of people are very busy, um, but don't take it personally. It's not that they don't want to talk to you uh, or share their knowledge. I promise there's so many nice certified hand therapists out there, even though sometimes it seems like, you know, or a little snooty or, um, I know that that's my experience. Like when I first started, it was I found it very hard or very intimidating to approach them. But there's a lot of people in your community um, that will, you know, that, that may be willing to help you. So definitely network um, and definitely try to stay in contact with them if it's something that, you know, you think that they're gonna be able to add value to your life and to your career. So it's always good. I know that I encourage my students to always keep in contact with me so that I can, you know, um, that I can help them out in any way possible. It's not just uh, for referrals or anything like that, but you know, my volunteers and my students, you know, anyone who comes across my path, they're welcome to message me and ask me questions as it relates to, um, uh, you know, anything upper extremity or career advice. And so I definitely encourage you to do that. So those are my top three tips for you. If you want um, to start getting into hand therapy and start learning more about um, upper extremity management, then definitely um, take a job that's gonna allow you to do that. Two, take some courses that will improve your skills. And three, network with people in your community more. Now, there's an opportunity here, I'm creating this for you, is to sign up in the link and you um, will automatically get emails from me. I am just starting out with this, so please, please bear with me and I will start to make more content for you, more emails and more things that are relevant for you to make sure that you're um, learning from me, that I'm you know, any knowledge that I can impart to you, my own experiences, things that I tell my staff, things that I tell my volunteers and students, um, they are coming. And this video is gonna make me accountable to provide this for you. So if you're interested in learning more as a therapist um, about upper extremity management, please uh, click on the link below. I think it's um, hit the like button to subscribe, no. Hit the, um, no, hold on. Uh, hit the button to subscribe and then click the bell on the side so that you can get notifications. Okay, sorry, it's my, my first video.